Hello, beautiful soul, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Colleen Winia. I'm your spiritual intuitive and reset your vibe energy coach, and I guide you in communing more and trusting more your intuitive brilliance, tapping into your emotional wisdom that's right there for you. And why do we do this? We do this so that you can tap in and really trust the messages that are coming through your body, through your heart, the signs that are all around you from the universe so you can move in those directions that is going to help you overcome, navigate, self-doubt, heavy emotion, learn to trust yourself more and grow that confidence in your heart. So if that appeals to you, happy to have you follow me on this channel so I can bring you more information like this, so I can help you. So please feel free to subscribe down below and leave a comment if there's something that really speaks to your heart or something that you want to understand more about yourself because there's probably something here in this video or in the selection of videos that's going to be perfect for you, my friends, perfect for you. So welcome again. Let's dive in. I want to dive into three areas or three ways that you can go about really building and honoring this trust in yourself. And why do we do this? Trust. Let's talk about trust here first, because trusting ourselves is really, really like the only thing we can do right now. Too many of my clients have put their trust, their faith, their power in another, in another person, in an intimate relationship, in a boss, in a job, in the economy, in you know, a job staying, only to find it falls apart, only to find yourself being disappointed. Have you ever been there? Have you ever felt disappointed because you leaned into something or particularly someone and it seemed like they let you down? because they didn't own up to their side of the bargain or what it was they had promised or com things completely changed. We're human, you know, we're not, you know, invincible. In a way we are, but you know, where it comes to matters of the heart and living in these meat suits or the, our snake skin, right? We still have a lot of healing to do. That's why we're in this being. So this is why I'm here for you. So the first thing you want to do, I'm going to give you number one. The first thing that you want to do in order to begin really developing self-trust is to move your body. Move your body. So what does that mean? You've probably heard me talk about it before. But in Move Your Body, within um, my program, Crystallize Your Vision, I actually dive into one of the phases. So let me give you a little highlight of a little bit of this. I've talked about this before. This is my five-point star approach. This beautiful star landed as an actual uh, beautiful um, reality, into reality after supporting clients in tapping into the five point star system, express, move, prime, align, and monetize. This is you in the middle, you're the star, you're the shining star. This is the vibrational frequency you wanna shine out to the world so you can be a magnet, a magnet to all the beautiful things that can help you heal your heart, move through trauma, meet those difficult times, kind of like build your foundation stronger. And that's why we go through all of these things that we've drawn into our lives, right? So we want to keep meeting ourselves so we become that stronger foundation and things kind of just bounce off of us a little bit more, just a little bit more, just a little bit more, just a little bit more until one day we're not attracting that same kind of frequency, the same kind of negative behavior or, you know, lack of money or whatever the thing is, even though the universe says this is what's going on around you know there's a spiritual and then there's like that reality we're living into but let's draw back in so just based on the star the first thing um, in terms of moving your energy in order to trust yourself more to trust the signs from spirit is to move your body so breaking that down within that there's four ways to move your body we'll just cover them lightly here so the first one is physically physically move your body if you're not moving your body on a daily basis um, moving the energy, getting the blood flow, getting yourself out in touch with Gaia, with Mother Earth, feet on the ground, walking in the woods, or sitting. If you're not able to move so well, you could be sitting next to adjacent water. You could be in a bathtub of water. You want to commune with nature, but you want to move your body in the smallest or biggest way that you possibly can. For some of us, it's hiking. That would be me. Um, for some of us, it's a whole nother, but when I commune with spirit in nature, when I go for my, even my evening hikes, many of you have seen my photos where I will post stuff 
that I've been out in the night. <laughs> it's usually like a night sky. And in that, there's just this like place where I commune with spirit and I really connect and it helps me shift my energy. So this is all about energy. You want to trust yourself. You want to trust your intuition. You want to open up to what can happen for you. Miracles and magic. I don't know how many times I've called in miracles and magic. My whole life has been up and down and yours probably has been too. So we have to keep coming back to the faith because we are the creator. So moving your body physically is going to help you. You decide what that is. Yoga, dance movement, you know, even crocheting. Something to just kind of move your body. Planting, gardening, cleaning. There's different ways to move your body. But get moving your body, okay, energetically. The second thing uh, to really, uh, within the move, that's what I'm just going to go on, but really let me back up here. We've got physically move. The next thing you want to do is mentally move. So I, example, example, example is a brain dump, right? So take your piece of paper, take your journal, grab your pen, your trusty pen and paper, and just open up your, open up your notebook. Sorry for the noise there. That's my, my star. Open up the notebook and literally just brain dump all the things that are in your heart, in your mind, that are worrying you, that are freaking you out, that are making you feel lonely. So it's like a journal, but I just want you to allow yourself to just kind of like, just dump it out on the paper. Don't worry, no one's looking. You can burn it later. You can have a burning ceremony, but just get it out. It's part of moving the energy, okay? The third way within that to move the energy is emotionally. <laughs> I don't know what, what, what one of the four here I'm asking myself emotionally so to move your body emotionally we need to move the stored energy whatever that takes for you okay so I'll give you an example so for me uh, the greatest moving of energy that I found in my emotion um, was when I started to do first I went through it later I became a trained facilitator a certified rebirthing a type of breath work and in this breath work it allowed me to lose kind of like go out of um i'm in contact very i'm actually not losing myself but it allowed me to let go um of my attachment to my mind and allowed me to feel my body and feel what was going on and as you do certain kind of breath work it can bring up stuff that's stuck inside of you right it could be guilty emotions it could be sad it could be rage it could be you know a level of anger or frustration it could be um whatever it is that's going to come up it could even be laughter right but this emotion that gets moved out of your body that is from the past it's not even from the now definitely not from the future but it's literally stuff that you've remembered and you've reacted the same way to and that's why we do all this conscious work on limiting beliefs and shifting affirmations all of these beautiful things so invite yourself to relinquish the stored trauma and live in the present moment try a breathwork session it's really really amazing energy healing body work, like things that get you literally through your emotion. And you want a long-term transformation? That's where I work with you. Inside our program, Crystallize Your Vision, I've designed it for emerging spiritual leaders, for heart-centered beings, for sensitives, highly intuitives. Um, it is a place for you to learn to really tap in, trust your intuition, connect with spirit on the other side, work through the aspects of the star that I showed you, and integrate that into your life so you can get to the point of really living your present purpose or changing it as you go and grow. If you want to become really good at mediumship or you want to become really, really good at helping others in your practice and your service, first you've got to be really helpful with yourself, right? You've got to put yourself first. You've got to learn these things. So that is emotion. We need to get the emotion out. And fourth, within the move your body, that is an opportunity where you need to uh, spiritually connect, right? So I'm going to leave that one open for you because spiritually connecting, it depends on where your faith is, what level that you're coming from of understanding. But spiritually connecting does integrate and overlap with the breath work. It allows you to go right into your spirit. It may be where you're like, really wanting to put your interest in something new. You want to learn about oracle cards or you want to learn about astrology mixed with tarot. Um, you may have a church, a divine, uh, what's the word? A divine, uh, uh, an area. I can't think of the words, but like something that really speaks to your heart. It could be a church that you attend. 
There could be meditation that you've implemented every single day. Like with the breath work, you could do breath work every single day, little mini versions of it. And then you can bask and you connect with spirit. All right. So those, I just want to drop those little four ideas. Uh, the first part of it is to move your body and within moving your body, you want to spiritually move, you want to mentally move, get things out of your thoughts. You want to emotionally move, get the expression out, grab a pillow, yell into it. Whatever you need to do, get the energy going and spiritual moving. There's many ways for that. So the second part of all of that is identifying your spirit of loved ones and cheerleaders. That will be a whole new video on its own. But basically, uh, to give you a mini version, in order to grow your trust to help you overcome the emotion, the doubt, you know, build confidence, is you want to be able to identify your spirit or your spiritual team. You don't have to know who they are. You don't have to have their names. But it can be a lot of fun. If you're getting like a spiritual experience and you're wondering if that's like a sign or a loved one who's connected, maybe it's someone who passed away, I'll give you an example. So in my cheer, cheerleader team, my spirit loved ones who passed away, um, most of you know my story, starting with Rob and Dad over 25 years ago. They were both ill and, and passed within nine months of each other. And um, shortly after that, and therefore following their passing and many other loved ones, about 12 um, have lost. I've had a loss, meaning they've transitioned over to the other side, and, or to spirit, which is not even the other side, but it's like they're here in this sort of different frequency. Let's do it that way. We'll call it a different frequency. But one of the cool ways was it was helpful for me to match up Rob with uh, his presence because I was, we'll just, yeah, we'll give you one here example. So Rob was really about uh, quality. He's telling me right now to speak about how quality mattered over quantity. And so he was someone that always was at my side, being that I had challenged spending money on myself. I had no problems being responsible to pay my bills, uh, you know, to appreciate the spaces I was in, to gift to other people, but to put myself, um, say something simple like in shopping where you'd buy like the best almond butter versus the cheaper almond butter, you know, um, I would kind of go price shopping and I'd be like, oh, well, you know, I can put more money in over here and I would like not give to myself what I fully wanted. Well, Rob was not like that. And so Whenever I'm shopping or I'm buying something, it's almost like I hear Rob's voice download in through me. His presence is right there. And he's saying, Colleen, quality. Go for the quality. <laughs> Go for like appreciating yourself. And you know, that was something he was really, really, really good at. So who in your life always sort of populates and shows up? Um, also with Rob, he had a really high personality. Um, sorry, let me back up. In his personality, the way he lived his life, he was this high vibe electric being. You know, he just kind of like whoop, he'd just jump into a room and he'd be bouncing. You know, you'd know he was there. He loved to dance, he loved to ski. So he's just high vibe. So when signs started to show to me, which were directing me in my life after I've been through the grief and loss to kind of give me hope an understanding about the other side, but also directed me to go do some inner work on myself, which I then trained with a program called Shambhala Trainings for three and a half years, over programs, weekend workshops, got certified in rebirthing, like went through the gamut, <laughs> went through a lot of tears and a lot of shedding and a lot of pain and a lot of joy and a lot of confidence was being built as I before couldn't look anybody in the eye. I mean, it was, it was incredible to look at somebody in the eye and let them see through my soul. Anyways, back to Rob showing his signs to me. So he was high vibe electric. And so when the signs started to show were like flashing lights, a computer, um, songs would come on the radio. Those are all frequency. So in that frequency, that was my knowing that Rob was there. Okay. So there's many other ways I can help you interpret signs. If you, you want to book a call down below, there is a clarity call link that you can go to or through my website. So you could actually request a consultation and or apply for crystallize your vision, which is really the transformational pathway for you all. Um, who vibe with it, <laughs> who are looking to overcome self-doubt, trust your intuition, heal from the past, and allow yourself to 
call in the new level of the, the earth, to call in the new level of spirit under all circumstances. And lastly, the third way in order to help you really develop your intuition and trust the signs so you can move and navigate through these emotions of the heart and this confusion and overwhelm is by opening your heart. So speaking of your heart, so you want to move into a space where you've moved your body energetically, you are identifying spirit or your loved ones who are present and then I want you to ask them ask them literally like ask them a question ask for guidance ask for what you want if it's more money literally say like show me the money you know show me where it's at and appreciate it how does life get any better than this have you heard that phrase how can it get any better than this but open up your heart and ask for direction and when you put the question out there if it's looking to go one way or another way what you want to do is ask your heart for the direction, okay? You're tapping into, you're asking to tap into source, into your cheerleaders, into your guides, into your own divinity, which is really, you know, you're, we're all connected, we're all one. So go to your heart and ask for direction. And then take some time, a deep breath, five deep breaths, breathe in, let go, breathe in, let go, breathe in. Let go and settle. So you're to be settled. And then ask for the divine guidance. Do I go this way or do I go that way? Okay? And inside your heart, you will get a feeling. It may be an all body knowing, it may be concentrated in your heart. Maybe it's a little gut instinct, but generally include this vicinity, your torso here, and into your upper heart energy center, the fourth energy center, or fourth chakra, to involve your heart for a clear yes or a clear no. It's one of my clients, she says it's a heck yes or a heck no, or a hell yes or a hell no. <laughs> so ask your heart, but don't ask necessarily like out of panic and out of overwhelm. Allow yourself to go to that space first and from there, this is going to allow you to get a more clear uh, direction. If you don't have the answer yet, just hang off. Hang off and wait, guys, okay? So I want to leave you that breakdown there. So the three areas, again, was move your body, uh, identify spirit and your, you know, your cheerleaders, and open your heart. So move your body physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. There's different ways you can do that. Uh, then you identify who's connecting with you through their personality, personality like the Example I gave you with Rob about him prodding me to do quality over quantity and him letting me know it's him through the high vibe, the songs, the frequencies, the lights. Okay, so pay, take note of who's communicating with you and ask if you're not sure. And thirdly, then ask your heart for the direction that you need to take. Are you going to join that program? Do I work with Colleen? You know, because this feels like a high vibe for you then great, reach out to me. Let's find out, let's dive deep. I don't work with anybody in our program and uh, please take that the good way, is we don't wanna to work together unless we are aligned to get you the transformation you need. So that's what we do. So thanks you all for listening. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sending you so much love and for sure, leave your comments below, share this video with a friend and uh, yeah, join our join my community. I'd love to have you. There's a free, um, e-guide if you subscribe to my newsletter on my website down below you get a free e-guide called eight best steps to raise your vibration right to ignite more love money magic into your world so grab that and uh, let's stay connected all right have yourself a beautiful beautiful rest of the day love you